Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are going to jump in for yet another one. Of course the streak is reset I did a co-op video with Nethernamed recently. Not sure when that'll be out. Okay. Okay. It's um, it's hopefully going to be a pretty quick run here because we've got a... Uh, we got a nice little Azazel start, which is not bad at all. This this room always hits me. I've got to be careful. Well, no, I won't say this room. These enemies. Just because they splash out their little um, little spiders so far. Do you know what? That's a very good start. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll actually go in here now, uh, thinking about it. Oh, my God. This is some good stuff so far. One of the things that I really appreciate about Azazel, or like really enjoy about Azazel, more so than the Mega Brim, like, like Short Range Brim, or the Flight, the fact that he starts with such good speed. Like, no character, I don't, I don't think there's any other characters that start with this higher speed stat, and it's just so satisfying to be able to move through the early floor so easily. I... I I do love Azazel as a character. I know a lot of people don't like him because he's too easy. I think he's a really fun character if you don't play him often. If you find yourself playing him a lot, I feel like he really loses a lot of his pizzazz. Um, loses a lot of his enjoyment. But as like a, a rare treat character that you just play every once in a while, I really like him. Ooh, we can get some... Uh, friendly poops here to help us out although i will say this is a particular boss where the friendly poops aren't actually that good luckily most of them perish pretty early but they can knock the uh, baby plum around when she's doing her th this attack here can knock her around quite a lot and cause some like pretty annoying issues okay there you go first floor d one and done and we even get supper which i think is a very very good item to get early i think it's um very valuable I forgot we could have used our full card on our uh, cash room. It's not not like it matters too much, but still would have been a decent idea. Yeah, you see what I mean by the way that the spiders like fling out at such high velocity. Makes it kind of difficult. We got an arcade here. I do need to start donating a little more back to my donation machine. I've been kind of bullying it recently um, with the new donation machine changes. I've been blowing it up on most of my runs. I wouldn't say all of them, but on quite a lot of them I've been... Uh, I've been bullying it a little bit, and I feel like it's uh, contributing towards it getting a little bit low. Cool room design here. I'm guessing that golden poop's always there with the thrasher dude. We do need a key. Hopefully, the plus three look off of the bat should provide us pretty early on with a key. Seeing a good few Ipecac rooms here as well. I'm hoping to go to the alt path on this floor too, so that I can... Oh my god. That's a lot of bombs. Hoping to go to the alt path on this floor as well, so that I can... Um, Hopefully test out some of the Ipecac custom rooms that I've made and see how they do. I, I do need to edit a few of them. There's still a few that need uh, need a bit of work. Uh, I'll get around to that soon. Come on. Are you really not going to give me a key this entire floor? Okay. Give me a charged key. Not the most ideal way to get a key, but I'll take it. And unfortunately, I am going to go to the item room rather than going to the downpour. I think it's a little more valuable for us. Um, ooh, and we got Tech L, which I don't even know. Okay, I was just about to say, I don't even know if it'll do anything. Technically, it hasn't done anything for us in terms of our firing, but what it has done is it's given us a rather large range upgrade. Oh, we've got another friendly poop here, uh, which I think is in itself is very valuable, so I do not mind. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty... I don't know if it, it... It didn't quite double our range, but it got very near to it. It's put us in a much, much more comfortable position. The shot speed, of course, doesn't really matter. I wonder, like, if there was a way for um, shot speed to work with Brimstone, I mean, what, what, what would that even be? That's that's another question I've got for you guys. How, like, how do you guys feel? Uh, converse all blue flies into locusts. Chance to spawn locusts under t upon tears hitting enemies. Ooh, nice one. Ho, ho, ho. Very cool. This is actually um, an item by... Uh, Blazy in my Discord uh, for an unreleased mod. It's still in, in the works. Seems like a very powerful item. I'm very happy to have it. Let's go on to the next floor. So, trying to get locusts on killing enemies and blue flies turn to locusts. If we can get any way of generating blue flies, that's going to be very, very strong. Uh, so, I want to see how common it is that we're going to end up getting flies from killing enemies too. It, like, how common that is depends on how strong this will end up being. Because it could end up being quite strong. I remember her telling me about the concept for this item and thinking... I can't remember the question that I was even asking now. Um, 
I think I was going to say something along the lines of like, what, what do you guys feel about like certain items and stats not really working with other certain items and stats? Like, how would you make Brimstone work with shot speed, for example? Um, and like, how would you make tech work with range? Like, I, I kind of wonder how people would go about trying to trying to make some of these pointless stat items do things. Because it is a little bit frustrating that you can get an item that, that completely nullifies... Hey, look, Soul of Apollyon. It's kind of on theme for what we're doing right now. Um, Yeah, like, it's kind of annoying that you can get, like, a range upgrade when you've got tech and it literally does nothing. Like, how would people, how would people make a decision to sort of change that? Also, it's seemingly we're not getting very many Locusts. We haven't had a single one on kill yet, which is good, because I think if that was the case, it'd be very powerful if it's already turning Blue Flies into Locusts as well. So I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm reckoning we're going to get at least one from this room, because there's a lot of enemies here. We, we shall see. If we don't get one from this room, yeah, the, ch the chances are rather low. But like I said, that is a good thing. Three keys there is very, very nice. Pinball? Is this another shot speed increase? Oh no, you stole a charge from me, you little fucker. Hey, hey! I don't I don't think this will work with the Zazel, unfortunately. Okay, this doesn't actually have any statistical increase with it. This is probably one of the uh, most annoying things. Um, yeah, why not? Uh, it's probably one of the most annoying things about Azazel is that many items that are tier converters or, like, things that add new types of tiers just don't work. But at the same time, it's a sacrifice that I think is, for the most part, for most people, kind of a willing sacrifice because you are on a great run nonetheless. Okay, we've got some thumpers here. Yeah, I love the the animation of these guys, the way they, like, quake as they, uh, as they charge it up. Good. Oh, that's a lot of money. Lovely. Don't really know what else I'm looking for on this floor. I'm just kind of going with it and seeing what we get. I'm not exactly sure how the saucer works. We seem to be losing the luck upon getting hit, and then we gain it back after clearing a room without getting hit. Or entering a new combat room or something. I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. Anyways, we gained a lot from this floor. Maybe we can find the secret room. We've got a lot of bombs. I'm not really considered where it could be, to be honest, but... There's a good few places it could easily be. Um, probably here, I think. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. We've got the evil charm as well. Not uh, incredible, but it's yet again more luck putting our total up to five, which is pretty damn high, really. Uh, and then second secret room. Second secret room's a little bit more up in the air. We'll try this because it's got mushrooms there. There you go. Ooh, okay. This is actually incredible. So... This lets us smelt trinkets for two soul hearts, so we definitely want to smelt the fishtail. That's pretty incredible. Now we have the fishtail smelted. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got the golden torn pocket. Upon hit, Isaac drops uh, coins. Okay, that's not really that good for us. Foiled cards appear more often. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, um, I think I'll smelt that too. And. Picking up red hearts at full health converts into temporary damage boost. I think I'll take that as my actual trinket here. Very powerful room there. Um, and the fact the fact that we just got the ability to double all of our fly outputs and all of our flies become locusts. If we can get any single way of generating blue flies, which obviously isn't a guarantee, but if we can get any way of doing that, this is going to be really good. Time gal is really good for Azazel too. And let's go to the mines. Why not? Okay, our character is looking rather uh, strange right now. I'm, I'm loving the fact that we can get our luck up to five, like, pretty much permanently, which is, is really, really nice to see. Okay, don't know if we'll end up doing this in time, because this is kind of a, a slightly harder boss, and we don't have any damage ups. We did actually manage to kill you, but we might not be able to... Oh, no, we did it, we did it. We only got one penny, but there you go. Um, And we got some Bob's Curse bombs now. It isn't the best, but it's decent. And then we get a... Uh, ooh, okay. So, Red Heart picks up when full health. I'm guessing it just doesn't work with Rainbow Hearts. It has to be specifically Red Hearts, which is, again, is fine. But yeah, Time Gal, for the most part, with someone like Azazel, really, really easy to get the rewards. Did not mean to run into that. Didn't realize it was a trapped chest. Um, Okay. I don't know why both of these are um, thingy. Oh, we do have Cares of the Blind. These are just darkness rooms. Um, we got the watermelon. 
Okay, so... I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm pretty sure the watermelon just straight up doesn't work at all for Azazel, which is a bit of a shame. Squeezy here is really good. We've been needing uh, some sort of statistical upgrade, so very happy to have it. Also, the soul hearts we've been missing. It's nice to sort of get those back. Also, I just kind of wanted to do this for the charges because we're a little bit low on health now. I won't say low, but a lot lower than we, than we previously were. I'll say that for sure. Oh, there you go. We got that temporary damage boost. That's actually a pretty significant temporary damage boost for a bit of a red heart. I like that. This item could prove to be very useful. Okay, we got a tinted rock there as well. And we gain ourselves the key. Get that chest. Oh, damn. I, f I forgot that on this floor there are uh, the spiders. Health is looking absolutely fine now. Uh, I'm going to just check this for a secret room real quick. There you go. Just get free to check. Didn't end up being something very good anyways, but still. Right, it's free to check. you got to check it. Oh, my God. That was such a bad movement by me then. It seems that the lucky saucer makes us coop upon being hit and loses our luck for a room or two. Yeah, that's a pretty significant temporary damage up. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, yeah. Here's one of the... Uh, Ipecac rooms, and it even came with a free secret room opening. Oh my god, this this temporary damage up thing's uh, working a treat right now. It's working a treat. Imagine this with like a, a queen of hearts. It'd be insane. This is another Ipecac room as well, actually. Nice one, fill that up. I thought it'd last, like, one room maximum, but we're, get, we're carrying it through a good few rooms. And with a time gal giving us even more hearts, making it even more likely. Uh, all familiar deal contact damage. Sadly, that doesn't really do anything for us right now. Okay, this, uh, this, this is going to be a slightly annoying fight. Especially depending on the, uh, the attacks he decides to do. Some of his attacks can be really frustrating. I think most of them are actually pretty simple and pretty easy to get out the way of. It's the, the one where he goes really fast or the one where he spawns the, the troll bomb carts that, that get me like every time. This one's not too bad either. Um, yeah, it's the troll bomb carts and this one. This one always gets me too. Just because you can't really hit him during this attack and he throws bombs out like an absolute mad bitch. We're not going to be able to uh, finish him here. Yeah, the brimstones uh, let, let him get away. That was pretty smart here, there. Pretty smart here. Consolation prize gives us another eternal heart. Another few black hearts. Berserk is kind of intriguing. Um... Yeah, do you know what? I'll take Berserk. Uh, we've, we've, we've kind of got quite a lot out of the um, prayer card already. I think we're, we're pretty set in stone as, as being... Fairly successful on this run with the amount of red hearts and black hearts we've got. Berserk with all the extra range we have, however. Oh, this is another another new room. Interesting. Another Ipecac room. I'm glad that I'm seeing them pretty regularly here. Okay, this is a big room. Not quite sure why that big room has so few enemies in it. That might be something I need to fix. Okay. Pop in here real quick. There's a guppy item. Um, upon using books, give 2020 for the current room. That's pretty interesting. Uh, off flat file. Flat file isn't really that worth it for us. It lets us get in curse doors, but that's about it. Yeah, we've actually got a good amount of range with this. Uh, broken shell. <coughs> Oh, this is for the familiar. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. A little bomb familiar. Gives us some giga bombs too, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, this guy's kind of a pain. There you go. Got him. Oh, there you go. We got some locusts this time. Oh, because we've got a rotten heart. Holy hell, so... Rotten hearts is... Okay, this is fucking OP. Because we've got the, um... Oh my god, this is so good. 
because we've got the what's it called um the the rotten tail or whatever it's called that doubles our fly output and we've got one rotten heart instead of getting two flies per room we get four and then on top of that all four of them are locusts this is such a powerful combination we've got going on right now this is awesome I'm kind of in love with this. Look at this amount of bonus damage we got. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the Gigabombs. <laughs> oh, my God. This is incredible. This is such a cool combo we've got going on right now. Look at the amount of fucking locusts we've got going on. Holy shit. We are dominating. And I love it. This is... A very, very powerful Devil Deal item. I did I did warn Blaze that it was going to be a very strong item, but I think it's kind of the intent. I don't think there's any uh, anything from her saying that she doesn't know it's a very powerful item. More cards appear. We've not found any foil cards, despite having the increased foil card chance. God damn, the red hearts are currently basically doubling our damage. Thank you. It's kind of insane, really. We've got 51 coins as well right now. Top that damage up again. God damn it. It tops it up a bit too much, I think. Oh, God. No! I just lost my Rotten Heart. My synergy. I need to find Rotten Hearts desperately now. I kind of forgot this enemy did an on-death effect. And that time, I also forgot again. Look at this amount of damage. Plus 8 damage. Are you kidding me? Berserk's actually really good with having flight, too. Do you know what? Get Gigabombs. It <laughs> you little tricky fucker. You managed to get out of the way of that, you cock. Can't believe you. Wheel of Fortune. We've gotten some good de devil deals so far. I mean, that one wasn't the best, but pretty good. Do you know what? I'm going to go Mausoleum as well. I know it's going to cost us some HP here, but... I'm on board. I can't remember. We've been to our item room, haven't we? I can't actually remember. I'm going to do, go do some searching. I know I've used all my Gigabombs now, but I was going to use them at some point anyways, wasn't I? Uh, could be here. I, I kind of want to look for my secret rooms, but at the same time, I'm not that bothered if we don't, don't find them. Okay. <laughs> Saying that we found them both. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hell yes. Plus 11 damage. And we got Lawful as well. This is such a busted run. In case you didn't know, Lawful um, is really, really funny. It means that every floor has a new loot pool, uh, but uh, like a new item pool. But every single item you get on that floor will be from that item pool. This one's Devil Deals. And um, we'll definitely be taking that. Basically, this kills one enemy per room for free. And once we get um, enough souls in it, we can pop it for uh, some extra upgrades. Pretty good. So yeah, we're on the Devil Deal pool currently. Actually, it could be Red Chest pool, but I'm pretty sure it's Devil Deal. Have we been to our item room? I cannot remember. I, I feel like no. I, fe I feel like we haven't. But that m it might just be that we have and we've just actually seen a ton of items this floor. That could also be the case. Okay, we have. We saw... Yeah, yeah. We just got a, a lot of items this floor. Okay. Let's let's duck out. We're on plus 11 damage right now. That's absurd. The one thing you got to be careful with this talisman thing, this uh, space bar item. Don't use it in rooms without combat. Do not use it in rooms with bosses. Otherwise, it will, it will just use it and give you the payout early, and we do not want that. Right. What, what pool have we got? Uh, we probably... This could be Devil Pool. It's more likely to be the Baby Pool, though. It is indeed the Baby Pool. The Baby Pool's kind of common. Boom. Talisman, that boy. Talisman, that boy. And Talisman, that boy. And as you can see, the hand comes across and basically eats up the enemy. Stores a soul. You can see it's turned purple now. Um, it changes color corresponding to how many souls are in it. We, we Really, we want to hold on to it for as long as we can. Because for one, it's just a really good item. One free kill per room is pretty nice. But also, we can probably get a pretty good reward out of it if we keep it long enough. 
Yeah, this this um this trinket is very overpowered. <laughs> this trinket is very very overpowered. Lost fly. Don't use it in rooms with low amount of enemies too, because you could accidentally kill the enemy and then use it, which would cause problems. I'm hoping we see a few um, Ipecac rooms in here too. I did make some for Gehenna and Mausoleum. Full card. Oh my god. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Ah, it got the chest, dude. I didn't think it'd get him, but it did. Okay, the Brimstone um, Ghosty Boys are a bit, bit painful. We've been just coasting this damage upgrade the entire time. Like, we're still on plus 10. Black heart there as well. Nice. That was kind of close. Shop can be good because we can get... Ooh. Flatstone? I don't know why we're getting flatstone in the shop. Maybe we're not in the baby pool. Maybe we're just in the regular item pool. And I've just gotten weirdly lucky. We could just be in the treasure pool. Certainly possible. Lots of money. Another one we're finding the secret room might be a bit tough, but I'm going to try it anyways. I don't know where any of the exits or anything are here, so I'm really just praying <laughs> to try and find it. Good. Chance to fire a homing fly shot. Nice. Good, good. Oh my god, look at these fellas. Holy hell. Bit of a hard room there. As you can see, Time Gal is just killing it for us right now. Good, good. Make so many chests from Guppy's tail as well. It's incredible. Okay, we're up to red now. What is this dude? There's a, there's a dude at the other side of the room. Oh, it's just a stone dude. Okay. Whoopsie. Oh, we got a foil card there. Let's go back and get that foil card, see what it is. Come on, dude. Don't be like that. Nice one. Right, let's quickly go check what that foil card is. Full mapping that lasts three floors. Hell yes. So yeah, don't want to use it in here because it doesn't really work on bosses. I really want some more rotten hearts. Vasculitis. Yeah, I don't know what pool we're in right now. I really don't know. Right, down we go, and we're going to pop our, fo uh, our foiled world card. That's going to lead to a lot of mapping, which will be very, very nice. Burn heart, kind of nice. Get rid of him. Oh, God. Kind of a hard room here. Whoa, these dudes have spawned little ghosty boys. What the hell? Little souls. We're getting up there with our talisman. I think that's a new enemy, that stone dude. Okay, damage upgrade popped off a little bit there. Push that into there. Oh, we got a devil deal teleport. We got, uh, this is definitely the uh, familiar pool though. Beelzebub, that's nice. I don't really think we need Cuba meat though. I think Cuba meat would be a bit of a waste for us right now. Okay, 
Ooh, look at these fellas. Ow. Don't know what hit me there, but I guess I'll accept it. It happened. Oh, no. Okay, no, it's okay. I used my talisman thinking it was a regular enemy and it was a boss. Uh, it didn't use it, actually, though, luckily. We still got it. Because it actually uses the active itself and it'd be gone if it had actually used it. So we got lucky. I thought I preemptively pressed it and ruined it there. That dumpy needs to stop right now. Okay, so many pills that I just don't care about right now. That's a, a lot of skulls too. We can we can bomb a few of these, see if we get some foil cards. We've got fly bombs too. It's kind of interesting. Moon. Not nothing really we want there. Yeah, we got like these fly bombs. I'm not exactly sure how they work. Oh, they, they they're literally just like mega herming bombs. Intriguing. Oh my god, these dumpies. The dumpies are scary. Grab, grab. Is the fly bomb something to do with Beelzebub? Because I don't have an item that's got that's, that's got the ability of fly bombs. I'm not entirely sure. It's one of my secret rooms, this. Hey, hey. Right, let's go back to our item room. Unfortunately, we went the entirely wrong way to get to our item room, and it's quite far away now. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm not exactly sure how these fly bombs are really working, but it seems interesting. Ooh, nice bit of damage up there. You're gone. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't throw a bomb rock at me, please. That would not be kind. I do not want that at all. Dark bum, hello. Oh, actually, dark bum's not very good for us right now. I'd rather take the red hearts with my trinket, to be honest. I suppose he's kind of slow. We can probably beat him to it for the most part. And we'll take whatever this is. A little Gerdy. Yeah, we're definitely in the baby pool for this floor. Unfortunately, there is a lot of bad pools you can get. But also, you could get lucky with Lawful and get some really good pools too. So, I don't mind too much. Let's make our way to our boss. I think we're nearing the last rank of our talisman. We might want to pop it soon and see what rewards we get. I think you can get like... Devil deal items. Although remember, they're gonna be whatever pool of the room, like of the floor that we're in. They're not gonna be devil deal items. We gotta, we gotta prepare for that fact. Holy shit! Yeah, the fly bombs are like just mega, mega herming. It's kind of interesting how like powerful the herming is. Really, I like it. Yeah, I did get hit there. That's fine. We will take this. We'll have a look in here. Okay, it's all babies. I don't really care about all, about all babies, I'll be honest. Let's just go down. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to know what pool you're in until you find an item. Uh, it would be kind of nice to have a notification or some sort of indication of what pool you're currently in. Ah, Beelzebub. Those, those flies are actually uh, mine. Double the effect of eating pills. Fancy brooch. Spawn an extra item in shops. Uh, these items are money themed. Why not? It's also one of my rooms. One of my secret rooms. We got two charges there for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Good. Let's check out Arcade here. We got plenty of money to play with. And... Plenty of reasons to play with it. Remember, this won't be Mum's earrings. Oh, no, it will. Okay. Oh, this is Mum-themed item. That's why we got the uh, secret room item there. Yeah. Two Mum-themed items there. That was the worst Solar Keeper I've ever seen. Mum's eyeshadow. Give me a battery themed item. No, you're just gonna give me another mum themed item, might you? Of course. If he pays out ever. Nope, he did not feel like paying out. That's okay. Still at plus 10 damage. We don't have any cards to reroll right now. We do now have uh, a purple beam for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is. 
I don't know. What's giving us the purple beam? Another smelter room? This is kind of overpowered. <laughs> uh, prevents all bomb themed items from appearing. I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Well, actually first, let's smelt this. Then what we, what else we got here? Huge rock makes this trinket your next tier. Oh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, stat held if activate was neither fully charged. No, that doesn't matter. Rotten penny is incredible for us. I think we'll smelt that. Oh, wait. Can we only use it once? Oh, we can only use it once. I think Rotten Penny is still the way to go, though. All of these are great trinkets, but Rotten Penny is top tier for us right now. Top tier. Because every penny we pick up, which is going to be a lot because we're getting a lot of chests and stuff, is going to, um... It's going to give us a Locust. And it's going to give us two. <laughs> so Rotten Penny is a very, very good pickup for us here. craziness going on right now. That's a horse pill right there. I don't think we're in a position to need to take pills though, so I'm not bothered by that. Some tooth. Some tooths. Goddamn toothies. Okay, hit one of the eyes. God damn it. I really can't be getting hit much more than I've already been hit. Okay, we can use our bombs here as well because we've got these fly bombs that are going to get mega hermed onto mum. Eternal heart there as well. If I can grab it without going in there, that'd be nice. And Mum's knife. Do I even want Mum's knife? I've got good range, so it would do pretty well for me. It would take off my brimstone beam, though. Um, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. I think we're in a perfectly fine position without it. Although, do you know what? No, no, no. no. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to go do Hush. That's what I'm going to do. I was like, nah, I don't need it, but if we're going to do Hush, we need it. It's more range. There's a Dormen Mick in here. What the heck? We got the baby pool again. Are you kidding me? Intruder's pretty good. It's a little annoying to hit the same pool this many times. Though. Oh, ho, ho. who cares when you get sci-fi? <gasps> we got me! Wait a minute, we got me. I need to be able to afford that. Look, it's Turtle Baby. <laughs> hey, I finally got it. And we got Conjoin out of that too. Oh, we got Turtle Baby finally. I'm so happy. And Sci-Fi too. <laughs> Turtle Baby is real. We finally got him. God damn, this run is crazy. Lawful's just mad. I love Lawful. Look at him. He fires little me melon seeds. Whoa! What on earth is our knife doing? This is some bizarre shit right now. I did not expect this. I did not know it worked with Pebble Stone or whatever it's called. Skipping Stone. It's it's pretty strange. Our range on knife still isn't that good, though. But I think with Sci-Fly, we should be absolutely fine. We're doing more than enough damage as well. I mean, we can also get some bombs in there, too. Remember, we've got this Mega Herming bombs. I'm still really not sure what causes them. I'm pretty sure it's the Beelzebub transformation or the Fly Tears. Maybe it's the Fly Tears, actually. I thought maybe a mod had, like, added to the Beelzebub transformation, but it'd make more sense for it to be the Fly Tears. But look, it's Turtle Melon Item. Thank you, Ipecac Devs, for adding that in. I've been a big supporter of Ipecac for a long time. I mean, as you've heard in this episode, I've been helping him make rooms and stuff. And they, uh, they added a, a, a Turtle Melon item and an Alexa item because we both uh, are content creators that play the mod a lot. So super appreciate it. Super awesome to see. Oh, my God. But yeah, with this many babies, he might get a little lost in the fray. But he's meant to be like a sort of decent damage dealer, high knockback familiar. As you can see with all the all the seed shots, all the melon seeds. He's kind of made for uh, 
doing a lot of knockback and keeping enemies away from you. And it works particularly well. I've seen a few other people have it on their videos. And uh, it's been pretty good. Alexa's had it like twice now, I think. My first time having it. I, this is why I love modded runs, though. This is such a crazy modded run. We've got some super cool stuff going on right now. There you go. I don't think we got hit, did we? Uh, and we're going to go down. Oh, this is, yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, I don't know how many more we need for the next level of the talisman. We might very well be on the max level of the talisman, to be honest. It's very plausible. Because uh, it hasn't leveled up in a little while. Nice, get us a key there. I'm going to keep using it until the very last floor, though. I'll pop it in, like, the, the entrance to the, the, the first room of the dark room, because we're only going to get bosses from that point onwards. We're able to kill much with it. I have to get hit by something, though. Sadly, obviously, there's no way to choose which enemy it picks, so you can't exactly pick the biggest enemy in the room. It's not like standing near them, like, prioritizes or anything, or at least I don't think it does. Look at him firing all those little melons. Little seedies. Keep it going, little buddy. One thing I'm unsure of is a few times I've used the talisman and accidentally killed the enemy before the talisman's grabbed them. I don't know if that still gives the talisman the soul count or not. I'm really not sure. Ooh, an eternal heart. That's really good for us. Extra bit of damage there. Got you. Another one of it. Just opening golden chests in basically every room. The extra luck plus um, Guppy's... Is it Guppy's uh, tail? Yeah, Guppy's tail. Making for some good stuff. I can't believe I've never seen uh, Skipping Stone plus Mum's Knife before. I did not know this worked. Dead to Sea Scrolls. I don't know what pool that's from, but I don't think it's the best thing for us right now. Okay, good, good. And boss time. Three, two, one. Got the timing on that way better now. Boom, you get bombed. How am I not getting hit right now? <laughs> okay, we are blasting through these rooms. Okay, go to the next floor. We'll use our talisman on this room and see what we end up getting. First of all, let's find out what item pool we're in first, though. Oh, it's probably the baby pool. Yep, <laughs> it's the baby pool again, I think. My god. Opens all chests in the room. That might be the worst reward I've ever seen. Doesn't even open mega certain door. Flyboy, unfortunately, is kind of useless this late in the game. I suppose we can save on keys with this active now, though. If we need them, swarm. Can't believe how many times I have the baby pool. Just, just, just look at this madness. Mr. Me does allow us to fight Mega Satan. We can now go and fight Mega Satan, which is pretty interesting. That uh, that adds to the uh, adds to the run a little bit at least. Thirty-eight seconds to complete this room. You're too generous. Not really thought about it before, but the fact that Mr. Me does count as a familiar, technically. Friend zone. I don't think we need lard. I think we're perfectly fine the HP we're on, pretty much. Extra chest there. Mum's key. Maybe it's not, because that's that Mum's key definitely isn't a familiar. Maybe it's just the shop pool? I don't think it is, though. Flyboy's not in the shop, is it? I, I don't know what's going on, I'll be honest. I'm a little lost. 
I'm a little bit lost. Ooh. Ooh, Papa. Papa Fly is actually pretty good. It does your damage now, so it's not bad. People give it a bad rap. But I don't think it's so bad no more. Okay, y'all dead. Oh my god, this is close. I was getting way too close to him there, but I think we're okay. None of the black balls, please. No one wants your big salty balls in here. Latchkey, yeah, I don't really don't know what pool we're in right now. Maybe we've exhausted the baby pool somehow. <laughs> it's certainly plausible. We have seen quite a few of them, but I... I no, because we haven't seen, like, Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie, really. And there's, there's got to be way more, so there's no way we've exhausted it. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure. Distant admiration. Halo flies. Right, let's fight the lamb. Easy. Easy. Right, back over to Mega Satan. We still got a few rooms to go. We could probably still get like five or six more items out of this bad boy. I'm a motherfucking fly boy. Pretty much am right now. Absolute fly boy. I haven't even taken the fly boy item and I feel like a fly boy. How are you meant to not get hit in this room though? Just how? Oh, those are reflected? I don't care. I don't even care. Boom, bow. Red key and dad's key. Well, hello there. I don't know where red key came from, but maybe we can make it work. We're gonna, we're, we were going to get to fight Mega Satan regardless because we got dad's key here. What hit me that time? Key bum. I'm sorry, but you don't make the final cut. You can you can get in here, BFF. BBF even. Smart fly, here we go. Planetarium. Leo for some reason. <laughs> Planetarium for the fruity plum, hell yeah. Best planetarium item. Absolute best planetarium item. Dad's key again. Okay, I guess. Dirty mind for some reason. Okay, we got like one or two more rooms potentially. Probably not going to get another red key charge. We can pretty easily find out where secret room is though. I don't... It's actually not very obvious right now. We can get another year listen if we want another year listen. Okay, let's let's see if we can find secret room because it should be relatively obvious with red key. That's something that people would really don't rate red key and and cracked keys on is their ability to find secret rooms is like insane. Like basically, if there isn't a red outline, it's a secret room. So, like here, for example. There's no red outline, which means it should be the secret room, right? There you go. Little monster, you see? And then, uh, also here there's no red outline, so this could very easily be our secret room too. And there you go, it is. Ooh, that's a nice, nice damage buff. And we can actually get some, uh, some red poop friends. Plus four damage. Not bad. Gonna decay as we make our way over to the fight, but still, not bad, not bad. This has been a hell of a time. A hell of a time. Look at our just absolute army that we've got with us here. We, we don't have a lot of health, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the fact that we have Psyfly should easily carry us through here. I mean, also just the damage that we do have is, is pretty incredible. And obviously my turtle baby. He will carry us through mainly. You can see we're just wrecking through these guys. I 
I think conjoint is helping a lot too. Oh my god. BBF just got in there and got him. Oh, there's another one. I see you. Okay. Greed's always the last one left, so I'm taking you out first this time. Need to get Mum's knife up to full charge so it does full damage. So nice having health bars in this fight now. So nice. Makes things so much more simple. I got hurt by my own bomb there, don't worry about it. Who knows what's going on right now? Who knows? Phase two, let's go. I'm sad that we don't have BFF to buff up all these familiars. It'd be pretty amazing. Ah, oh, the Sci-Fly nerf strikes me there. Remember, it, it's not complete protection anymore. It does have some downtime. It's not often, but it does have some downtime. We might as well just keep throwing bombs out. It's it, they're, they're always going to zoom right to him and do full damage. Okay, we're all out now. We are all out of bombs. We should be absolutely in the clear here, though. There you go. We got him. Beautiful. If I get Void, I'm going to go to Void. Nope, we did not. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a fun run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.